So the Mavic 3 has appeared in a patent and there's an image of the drone. Let's get into it. But before we get started, I wanna tell you guys real quick about TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is a YouTube SEO tool that'll help you grow your YouTube channel. It's what I've been using to grow this YouTube channel. So if you wanna find out more information about that, definitely check out my link in the description below. But let's jump right into the news because I'm a little late admittedly, but I know a lot of people probably still don't know because you have to be really paying attention to this stuff to know. The DJI Mavic 3 has leaked again in April 2021, and we're getting a actual photo of the side of the drone, which is pretty crazy. Now, the photo doesn't reveal too much, but it does give us some answers to some questions that we've been asking about the Mavic 3. This leak originated five days after the DJI Air 2S came out, and it's pretty interesting because usually when we start seeing these leaks, it means that something's on the way. Although we have been here hearing about the leaks with the Mavic 3 for a long time. The Mavic 2 has been out for years and every now and then we do get these Mavic 3 leaks, but I have a feeling as this year progresses toward the actual release date, we're gonna get more and more information. So before I jump right into the exact details of the leak, definitely make sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell. That way you're updated when I create new videos. So the first thing is pretty minor, but we're gonna have double cooling openings, which basically lets air into the drone to cool it down, double cooling cooling openings. We've never seen this on a DJI drone. So what is this going to bring to the table? Maybe better battery life because the drone will stay a lot cooler, especially out here in Arizona where it's super hot. And it's just better for technology, especially drones that get super hot out in the sky with direct sun exposure to have these openings. It's definitely going to make for a better user experience when using the drone. The second thing is pretty huge. The battery is actually not going to go in on the top like the current Mavic 2, but it's going to slide in from the back like the Phantom. The biggest reason why you would want this is right now with the Mavic 2, if your battery were to puff up, it could actually fly out of the top of the drone, which means the drone and your battery would fall from the sky. And a battery like that hitting the ground from, let's say, 200 to 400 feet would be absolutely horrible. Those batteries can be very, very dangerous if they explode. And I've even seen videos of drone batteries just burning stuff up like it's nothing. I've heard stories of drone batteries lighting cars on fire. So it's just not very safe to have the battery loading from the top. And this has always been a complaint that I've had with the Mavic 2. It's definitely been a major flaw for me personally. Loading in from the back is actually really exciting news and very welcome. The only downside is, is that unlike with the Mini 2 and the Mini 1, that can actually share batteries, you definitely won't be able to do this with the Mavic 3 and the Mavic 2 batteries. You'll have to upgrade your whole set. So that's gonna be very expensive, but this drone isn't like a major consumer drone. It's more for the professionals out there. So for me, you know, I'm expecting to have to do all that. I know the drone's gonna cost a ton of money. So that's just something to keep in mind. And the third thing is there's a weird hole in the center of this picture actually in the center of the drone. It could be a screw hole, but I've read online that it also could be for dust and water resistance, which is pretty interesting. But right now that's all just rumors. So we don't really know what that is. That's all speculation. In an earlier Mavic 3 leak, I talked about the Amberilla processor. It's like their third version of this processor and it's supposed to bring 8K video and just insane quality to the table, which is what we all want with this drone. Well, it looks like according to another rumor that I'm seeing here is that that Amberella 3 processor could end up in the Mavic 3 and I wouldn't be surprised if it did. It would actually be kind of silly for DJI not to put it in the Mavic 3 just because, you know, they want to compete with other companies like Autel, Sky Duo, and really deliver a insanely great product that delivers insanely great quality. So I wouldn't be surprised if we saw this processor on the Mavic 3 like this rumor is suggesting, but that is just a rumor at this point. Another rumor that people are talking about is the propellers. Much like the Sky Duo 2, we might see the two front propellers aimed downwards and the two back propellers aimed upwards. This is supposed to allow for DJI to put sensors on those propellers on top of them. Now that's interesting and interesting interesting design choice. I'm not sure how much I would like that. Actually with the Mavic 2, you can turn the camera any way you want by putting your finger on the screen. And I was thinking when I heard this, I feel like that could interfere with that and you could actually get more of the propellers in your footage if you're doing 
that with your drone. So I don't know how I feel about that. And the pictures that were supplied by Drone XL are kind of suspicious to me. It doesn't really look like the Mavic 3. It actually looks like a Mavic 2. So I'm not sure how official that rumor is, but it's just something that I wanted to put out there because I saw it in the article. But yeah, guys, that's really it. I don't have any other information regarding the Mavic 3 as of yet. Definitely subscribe to the channel and make sure to hit the notification bell. Also make sure to give this video a thumbs up. That way this video will rank higher in the algorithm and get to more people. Let me know in the comment section below if you're excited about the Mavic 3. I know I'm super excited for it and it's just going to be such an awesome upgrade. I already know it, especially when we saw what DJI did with the DJI Air 2S. I just feel like that's just a little bit of what's to come. But anyway, guys, like I said, I'm interested in hearing your thoughts. But until next time, I'm out.